Welcome everybody to MQTT Monday. In today's edition, we're going to be talking about the improved client feedback and negative acknowledgements in MQTT 5. When asked about possible improvements for the MQTT 5 specification, many users said that they would like to have better debugging capabilities, as well as a way to ensure consistency across multiple MQTT deployments. This is why the feature set for improved client feedback and negative acknowledgements got introduced. First off, an MQTT broker can now let the client know about what kind of features it supports. Optional features are retained messages, wildcard subscriptions, shared subscriptions, subscription identifiers, and topic aliases. You might have noticed that some of these features already were part of MQTT 3 and are now optional. Consider this when choosing your MQTT broker and make sure that all the features that you need are also supported by the broker you choose. There is also some features that can be limited by the broker. Namely, these are max keep alive value, max session expiry, max packet size, the number of topic aliases that can be used by each client, and the maximum quality of service level. MQTT 5 also introduces a host of new reason codes. These reason codes are vastly more detailed than they were in the MQTT 3 version. Not only are there more reason codes, but reason codes also got introduced to new packets. The unsubback, pubback, pubrec, pubrel, pubcom, and disconnect packet now all have reason codes. Also, a completely new field got introduced, which is called reason strings. This field allows the user to introduce an arbitrary string in addition to the reason code to make debugging and communication between client and broker even more easy. Speaking of better debugging, a broker can also let the client know about the reason why it gets disconnected now by actively sending a disconnect to the client. This was not possible in MQTT 3. And lastly, when it comes to message flows, MQTT 5 introduced negative acknowledgements. So if a client, for example, exceeds the aforementioned maximum packet size in a publish, the broker can now send a reason code with that exact statement back to the client, unlike just having to disconnect him without notice as they did before. I hope you can see that this host of feature set really makes debugging more easy and makes the client feedback much more verbose. Subscribe to our channel to learn more about additional MQTT5 features in the future. Thank you.